Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. It's been a while since we've done a Story of Seasons game, hasn't it? But anyways, I've been meaning to do this game for quite a while now. So for those of you who don't know what Story of Seasons is, it's... In case you haven't been around for a while, Story of Seasons is basically the modern name of Harvest Moon. There's a whole another story about why they had to change their name that you can pretty much find anywhere online now, but basically this is the modern Harvest Moon games. And Pioneers of Olive Town is the latest, like, non-remake uh, game in the series. As of the making of this video, that is. Who knows, maybe they'll announce a new game in the series at some point. They did, like, announce remakes of uh, Wonderful Life coming out, like, in a year or two. Actually, in a year. But anyways, that's beside the point. We're now playing Pioneers of Olive Town, so let's get started. Let's start our new farming adventure. Also, yeah, first, like, big difference. Well, I guess the last game also kind of had this, but one big difference is that there is seedling mode in this game, which basically just makes the entire game a whole lot easier. But we're not going to do that, because I know what I'm doing. We're going normal mode. So this LP is going to be a little bit different from my other, like, Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons LP in that I actually didn't plan this one out that, like, uh, what is it? I didn't plan this one out, like, to the detail like I usually do. Most because the main story in this game is actually pretty simple. So we don't have to worry about locking ourselves out of anything. Also, those sheep are so fluffy looking. I want to hug them. But yeah, just like every classic story of seasons. Also, those cows are... I love the old, like, style rounded cows like that. They're so adorable. But yeah, just like every other, like, classic story of seasons game. It starts off with a dead grandpa. However, unlike a lot of them, we actually get to make our character in this one. So let's get making, shall we? So first things first, what kind of eyes do we want? Fortunately, later on, it's actually pretty easy to change things around if we're not satisfied. So I'm not going to take this one too in detail for now, but we're going to be playing with this character for a little while, so let's pick some good eyes. So what are our options? Uh, I kind of like the sleepy eyes. Sly eyes are also pretty good. I also kind of like the stubborn eyes. I don't know, there's something about that like half-closed eye look that I actually kind of like with this kind of art style. Hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards... I'm kind of leaning towards Sleepy at this point. Stubborn is also pretty good, actually. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go with the Stubborn Eyes for now. Alright, skin color. Uh... Well, my natural skin color is, like, in between this one and this one. You know what? We're a farmer. We're, like, more tan than usual. We're gonna go with a slightly more tan version here. Uh, eye color. Alright, so yeah. Also, you can see we can actually make both eyes mismatch. Honestly, probably not a big fan of that in this art style. I don't know why. I think it's because the eyes are so big that it's actually really noticeable. Hmm. But what eye color do we want? Let's try going for something a little bit more... I kind of want to go for something a bit more subtle. Like, I don't want... Okay, I don't want this for one thing. Because that looks really weird. Let's go with... Honestly, I'm kind of... I kind of like the moss green color. Umber is also not bad. We could just go straight bloodshot red. Or strawberry, which is like... Red, but slightly less so. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with moss green for now. Also, do we want the two different eye colors? No, you know what? No. I think I'll, I'm fine with keeping the same color for now. Like I said, we can always change this later if we want. Hairstyle. What kind of hair do we want? Oh, that one's not bad. I kind of like this one, to be honest. This one's also not bad. What, which one's that one? Medium length hair, too. Uh, everyone else is... Yeah, we're starting to get into the more, like, female meeting, uh, hair color- or hairstyles. We could go with the pigtails. Or the mohawk. Also, I'm kinda- I'm kinda also okay with, like, the default hairstyle here. 
You know what? I think I'm actually going to go with the medium length here. I kind of like the look of that. All right, hair color, though. What hair color do we want? Do we want to go, like, we like weird hair colors, or do we want to go more natural hair colors? You know what? I think for now we'll start with, like, a more natural hair color, and then maybe later on we can dye it. All right, what kind of voice... Also, yes, our character won't actually be voice acted, but these are basically going to be the sounds we're going to be hearing for most of the game. Also, the music volume's a bit high. I'll have to change that once I actually get into the game. Okay. 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 I think I kind of like the wild one better. Okay. Okay. It's kind of hard to hear because, yeah, like I said, the music is really loud. Okay. Let's go with wild. Uh, bearing. This is basically how you stand. It's basically, do you want to be more feminine or masculine? I'm going to go with the powerful for now. Outfits. Do I have any other outfits right now? No, I don't. Alright, but this is our character. Our new farmer for Olive Town. Time to go start our new farming life. Also, we get to change the uh, color of our motorcycle. This literally won't... This won't, like, matter for a while now, but... What color do we want our motorcycle to be? I'm kind of a big fan of the red. Or, hmm... The blue is also not bad. Let's go with... You know what? Let's go with the classic red. I don't know, I... I always really like the color red when it comes to scooters or motorcycles like this. Also, that is definitely more of a scooter than a motorcycle. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with the classic red for now. Off to all of town in style. Also, now that I look at it, it looks like more our character is more bored than uh, stubborn. It's fine. Also, how far away is all of town? Maybe we didn't think this one through all the way. There it is. All of town. There's no text on that sign, but that's fine. We can read squares. Finally made to our new... Oh, crap. Well, not the best way to start off our new life. Technically, I walked the last bit. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, we haven't named ourselves yet. Well, I'm going to name it after myself like usual. Oh, Victor, if only you knew about my history. Also, I always put my birthday, like, close to my real birthday, which is Summer 3. Like, that is something I've done ever since I've started playing this series, and I'm not changing it now. Also, this is the first time we've actually had a canonical age for our, like, main character. Also, yes, we actually get to choose our gender despite what we look like. Also, we're a boy, so we're gonna go with that. But yep, we get to go inherit Grandpa's old- oh my god. Well... Yeah, um... 
about this farm. How long has he been dead for? Alright, but we do also get to name our farm like usual. So what do I want to name it? I actually didn't think this went through all the way. So we have, what, 12 layers to work with? Let's see, so this is Olive Town. He was one of the pioneers of Olive Town, thus the name of the game. So theoretically, we could name it like... Maybe the town was named after the farm. So it could be Olive Farm. How many... Okay, we have 12 letters. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to name it. I mean... That does fit. You know what? This is also why I named it like my first playthrough, and it just kind of fits for some reason. It's like getting back to the roots of this entire series in the West. You know what? Well, hmm... I don't think there's anything else that would work here. Honestly? Let's go with that. And just like every other farming game, we start off with our basic tools. Alright, so basic tutorial part stuff. Just highlight whatever tools you want to use and use them with Y. Well, yeah, Y in this case, because I am using a pro controller, so some of the button comp or some of the button prompts are gonna be kind of weird. But yeah, first thing we're gonna need to do is to clear the land. Fortunately, in this game, your tools can actually clear out trees despite what level they are. It just takes longer. And we're gonna take advantage of that because we do need to make sure we clear out the land and actually make it farmable. Also, yeah, we can sleep in bed to basically skip to the next day. And everything's in the notebook, got it. Victor, I, I know more than you. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. But yeah, unfortunately we won't be able to actually get any crops in the ground today, but that's fine. We can take a quick look around uh, around the farm before we do anything else. Also, yeah, unlike other games, in this one you always have all your tools with you, you just don't need to have them equipped at all times. We'll probably unequip some tools as we're going along at the beginning just because we don't have a ton of inventory space yet. Oh, also I have all the DLC, which I've actually never done before, so at some point I'll probably try out the DLC and we'll do it blind. It mostly just introduces characters from older games from what I understand. Yeah, we're not gonna go do any of the DLC quite yet. We need to get settled before we uh, do anything first. This is also, I believe, a DLC. There are a couple of DLC packs. Also a DLC? Please stop. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, yeah. We can't equip those until we get that unlocked. Got it. I really need to get the beauty salon unlocked so I can start wearing stupid costumes. All right. But let's go take a look around our new farm, shall we? Oh, by the way, we don't have a house yet. Uh, I guess at some point Grandpa's house will also, like, burn down or something. Because all we have left is our tent right now. Out of all of the starts in all the Story of Seasons game, this one is probably the most... I wouldn't say dire, but at least everyone else had a real house. Right now, we're lit we only have the land, and that's basically it. But let's take a look around the farm before we do anything else. Right? Our fields. Unlike the other games, this one doesn't have a set field. We're pretty much freeform in how we want to develop the farm. Uh, we're not going to do that yet because A... Actually, I don't have my tools out yet. Let's grab those real quick. Because A, he didn't actually give me a hoe or like watering can or seeds yet. We're not going to get those until like another day or two. So today is pretty much just going to be spent like exploring and clearing out the farm. But yeah, let's take a look around the farm before we do anything else. 
So over here is the boat that'll take us to the DLC. Like I said, we'll do that some other time, not right away. Uh, what else do we got around here? So yeah, this entire area is basically our farm. We're right next to the ocean, by the way. So if we want to go fishing or do anything in the ocean, we can do that. But yeah, uh, Grandpa's farm has definitely seen better days. Oh hey, wild onions. So this is actually important. If you ever find wild crops that's growing somewhere around the farm, make sure to pick them and ship them. Because once we do, we can start buying their seeds from the store. So we're going to get rid of all these onions for now, and we'll get those sold off soon. Uh, flowers, always good to give away as gifts. Oh, speaking of gifts, I need to figure out who I actually want to marry in this playthrough. I actually, like I said, this is the one playthrough I'm kind Oh, right. So yeah, we don't have access to any animals yet, but this is the one playthrough where, like, I haven't planned everything out meticulously, like, beforehand. We're kind of winging it for once. You know, for a change of pace. Alright, so over here is... So over here is the mine. We can get it. Oh, actually, first things first. We need to get rid of these rocks to get in. There we go. Also, just like pretty much every other modern story of Seasons game, this game encourages you to hoard everything. So we're going to make sure we pick up everything we can so we can use it later. But yeah, the mines are right here on the farm. We can go down and start digging for, like, treasures and stuff. I'm not going to do that today. We'll probably spend a good day doing that. Maybe next time we have a good rainy day where we can do all this stuff. But we're not doing that right now. I'll do the mines later. Let's continue looking around the farm a bit more. So yeah, Grandpa's farming, like I said, has seen better days. There are trees everywhere. So our first major goal is going to be basically to get rid of all the trees so we can start actually developing the land. Uh, we got a broken bridge here, which we can't get across yet. Because the farm in this game is actually pretty huge, but it's kind of split up into areas that you need to develop, or you have to, like, get further in the game to get the resources you need. So we can either do it with materials or money. But we can't do either right now because we don't have the money or the materials. So we're not going to be doing that for a little while because, like I said, I want to make sure I develop the farm before we start getting too big. And over here, we got ourselves a chicken coop, but it is kind of in pieces right now. And in order to, like, repair stuff, we're going to need the materials. So that's going to be our, like, first major goal, I think, once we get some crops going. So that we can get ourselves some chickens as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire farm for now. Not much to see at the moment, but we'll be developing things as we go along. Alright, so yeah, first things first. Let's also make sure we sell these uh, onions. So we have our shipping bin here. Throw every anything you want to sell in there and you'll get money for it. Uh, at the end of the day. I don't think there's a shipping time in this game. I think it's just the end of the day. Alright. So. I was going to go to town today. But I think I'm going to save doing that until tomorrow. I think we're just going to spend the rest of the day. Just like clearing out the farm. Or, uh, preparing our fields. So yeah. First thing I want to do like I said. Is I want to start slowly getting rid of all of these trees. A, so that we actually have plate or like space to work with, and B, for the lumber. We're going to need a lot of lumber starting out. Because, as you've seen already, there is literally nothing on this farm except for a broken chicken coop. And to develop the area further, we are going to need wood. I don't want to go too overboard, though, because right now we don't actually have anywhere to store things yet. So I might end up just like... Oh! Oh yeah, there's a new system for this game that I forgot about. So basically, as you do things around the farm, you get skill points. And as you basically earn more skills, you uh, get better at it and usually use less energy while doing it. It's kind of like Rune Factory in that aspect. So we just gained logging level 2. So now logging is slightly easier for us. Perfect. I'm not too worried about focusing on any, like, skill at the moment. I'm just gonna like naturally develop them as we go along. There is another thing that's actually really important about uh, raising your skills that we'll unlock later. But for now, we're basically in it for the skill, for like the uh, energy boost. Or the energy or the like efficiency boost. Alright, so I think... 
just looking at my farm, I kind of like to put my main field, like, down here. Like, we have plenty of room down here. And I think I'm going to save, like, this area up here for something that we'll unlock later on. So I think I'm just going to focus on mainly clearing out this area down here. So let's get rid of these trees for now. We have plenty of energy left. Actually, we have, like, half energy left. I do want to watch my energy levels, though. I don't want to pass out, like, my first day on the farm. Not gonna really set a good example for, you know, them giving me this free land and everything. And yeah, if we need stamina, we can just eat stuff. We'll be fine, though. Alright, uh, let's get rid of some more trees so that we have a clear view. One thing I'm not a big fan of in this game is it goes back to, like, the old, old like, fixed camera angle system. Instead of, like, the newer 3D system, so... It's actually kind of easy to get your view blocked by trees. Which is why I'm chopping these ones down before I do anything else. Okay. Let's get rid of maybe, like, two more. I could also just eat a bear to get a bit of stamina back. Emphasis on a bit of stamina. There we go. All right, I'm going to chop this down this last tree. Oh, nope. We're fine. We still have a little bit of stamina left. As long as we don't hit zero, we're okay. There we go. All right, let's start cutting down some of these weeds then. Because, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be planting a lot of stuff just to get everything going so we can get some income coming in. That also means I'm going to be spending a lot of money on seeds early on. Just like every other farming game. I can sell these, right? Yeah, I can sell those. Oh, hey, we're getting better at uh, reaping. What does that do again? Okay, we get more materials when we reap. Not terrible, but I'll take it. Alright, but I think that's a good place to stop for our first day on the farm. We didn't actually get to interact with anyone yet. We'll do that tomorrow. Today was all about prepping for, like, our, like, big planting in the morning. All right. Is there anything else I want to sell for now? You know what? I'll keep the clams for now, just in case we want to give them away to people. All right. That should be good. Time to head home. To our nice tent. So, yeah. Welcome to our home. Uh, it basically is made up of a couple of books we brought from home. It's, they're all just tutorial stuff. Also our save point if we want to. We can just save anywhere though. Uh, we got ourselves a our nice calendar. Any good coming up uh, this week? Not really. Oh hey, Dunhill's here. I think he got added in a DLC. I think that's the reason he's on my calendar. Because like I said, a lot of the DLCs bring back characters from older games. Including a couple of bachelors and bachelorettes. Speaking of which, we'll have to decide who we want to marry later. Not right now though. Oh, yeah, there's but there's Ludus. Uh, what's the first, like, major festival, though? Egg Hunt is on the 15th. Okay. Also, I need to remember, in this game, months are 28 days long. I have been screwed over by forgetting that in this game, months are 28 days long, just like in Stardew. We also have a radio here, which we can use to get our weather forecast. So, what's the weather going to look like? Actually, I'm pretty sure it's set to always be sunny for the first couple of days. Today is going to be sunny. I kind of knew that already. Uh, sunny tomorrow. Sunny the day after tomorrow. Alright, so yeah, it's going to be sunny for a couple of days. Alright. So, time for bed in our sleeping bag on top of a cot. Uh, on top of a cot. We really need to get ourselves a real house at some point. At least those wild onions actually sold for quite a bit of money. That's going to be good for, like... Also, yeah, now onion seeds are available. That's going to be good just starting out so we can get those planted in the ground. And uh, get ourselves some more income that way.
Thank you, Victor. I thought you would have given me these yesterday, but I guess not. And we just, yeah, we gotta plant them in the ground by hoeing the soil, planting the seeds, and then keeping them watered every day. Oh, I already know about the shipping bin, Victor. I used it yesterday. Also, Victor, I know. The tutorial message already gave me this information. Get, get up with the times, Victor. You're so far behind. Also, yeah, apparently Grandpa and Victor are, like, around the... I'm assuming they're around the same age. How... How old was Grandpa when he died? Because Victor doesn't look like he's that old, to be honest. Probably, like, 40s or 50s, maybe? The little hat actually helps him look younger, though. Also, yeah, shoulder buns let you strafe, which is actually really helpful. Alright, but we did just get a bunch of seeds here. Also, we got ourselves a well, because we don't actually have a well on the farm yet. And we don't want to refill our watering can in the ocean for obvious reasons. But yeah, we got ourselves some turnip seeds. I have no idea why he gave me a turnip. Just like, straight up gave me a turnip. There's like, I guess we can sell it. And we also get ourselves our, our tree seedling. Oh, I need to figure out where I want to plant trees. Like... Trees I actually want to keep and not chop down. Maybe... Mm. You know what? I'll figure that out later. But yeah, now that we have the tools we need, let's get all those out of my backpack. There we go. Alright, so now we can finally get to harvest... Not harvest, and get to uh, planting. There's also a puddle here. That's going to be important later. I'm trying to figure out why I want, where I want to plant my seedlings. You know what? Maybe we can turn like this southern area into like our orchid, orchid, uh, orchard area. Not a terrible idea, actually. All right, you know what? I'll figure that out later. For now, let's get those seeds planted. All right, first things first. Let's get our well down so we actually have a source of water. I'll put it like, I'll put it here for now. We can move it later if we need to. And then in terms of the seeds, so we have nine seeds, right? Yep. Let's plant those. Let's start tilling, like, in this area over here. So each seed in this game is one square. It's not one of the older games where it's, like, a three-by-three three area. That being said, I'm probably going to be sticking to my traditional three-by-three three squares. Just because, I don't know. I'm just so used to that look that I kind of am just... I just do it by default at this point. I did not mean to do that. Whoops. Alright. Let's get those planted. It is good to get back to the old, like, traditional farming games. Just a simple game about planting, harvesting, and making money. And watering plants. There we go. Alright, we are now done for the day. I'm going to bed. Except, no, I'm not going to bed, because here's the thing. I want to make plenty of money early on so I can get a, as many upgrades as possible. So this is only the beginning of my planting. I have 4,000 gold burning in my pocket, and I'm going to spend it all on seeds. But I think we'll do that next time, so that next time we can also go to town and start introducing ourselves to people. So... Next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town, we're going to go actually explore Olive Town. So, till then.